I finally got some footage of the Salvini cichlid. So I'm super ecstatic to do this video. I've been, people have been reaching out to me for months and months and months to do a video on the Salvini cichlid. And it's a pretty cool fish because a lot of people keep them with South Americans. They're, they're mild mannered, but uh, they can still be aggressive. So I'm, I'm just chilling here in the shop today. Like I, I did a video update on the video before this, but um, I've just been basically sitting on this 150, pondering how I'm gonna figure out this wall build. Essentially, it's an entire wall of 20 gallon tanks, and they're stacked three high in a specific tier shelving system, and I need to figure out how I'm gonna do the overflows. It's kind of a weird thing because um, this is Corey from Aquarium Co-op's design, and it's brilliant because you can stack three tanks on top of each other and still have the room in here, and uh, you can brace these tanks just on the side. But adv I advise you, don't do anything longer than a, 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 a 20 gallon tank. A guy reached out to me and said, hey, I do this with 55 gallon tanks. I only support them on the sides. And I find that ridiculous. I sat there and preached to the guy. I said, four feet is way too much of a span to be, you, that's a couple hundred pounds you're only supporting the sides on. Anyways, I'm having issues on figuring out where I want to put my overflows for everything's going to be an auto water change system. But the Salvini cichlid, guys, I'm super excited about this one. Let's talk about the Salvini and just taking care of them and look at some sweet footage. All right, guys, the Salvini is a Central American cichlid. They grow four to six inches. And what's cool about them is the female also inhibits a lot of that cool coloration. Most of the time, the female will have a dark blotchy spot on its gill plates and will be a little bit smaller. As you can see there on that photo I just showed, they do have small teeth and these fish are known, like if you do, if you do any research online, all the guys are gonna say these fish are just insanely aggressive and people have problems all over the place. Um, shout out to Sarah Hoff, by the way, for giving me this awesome footage. There's actually, I had a very tough time finding footage of the Salvini cichlid. It's not a very popular fish. But like I said, all the guides said that these things were insanely aggressive, but I noticed that a lot of the guides always say that. They'll commonly say that with Jag cichlids, Jack Dempsey cichlids, and Red Devils, but it's all about the fish keeper and just kind of knowing how to handle aggression with hiding spots and lighting and different tank mates, etc. These guys are mainly carnivorous, so meaty foods. What you're going to have to watch is when they get into that territory of breeding and they get like every tough predator cichlid when they start breeding all of a sudden a switch goes off in their head and they will try to kill anything and everything around it and we all know that as far as creating the most ideal habitat for these fish i would say just get the largest tank you can and inhabit it with as many tank mates that you can find compatible and i preach that in a lot of my videos the key here is to find compatible tank mates because I truly believe that fish really just do a lot better when they can be kept with other fish, essentially. I know that's easier said than done sometimes with more aggressive cichlids like this, but just do your best with hiding spots, etc. Uh, this is pretty basic fish keeping like I talk about in a lot of my cichlid species spotlight videos. These are awesome fish. The male is going to be a little bigger. The male and female are going to be super vi vibrant coloration. The color of substrate, uh, the darker the substrate, the more colorful the fish is probably going to pop in colors. Let me know in the comments. If you guys have ever kept these fish, I had a tough time finding this video. So I don't, these fish don't seem that common it seems.